I definitely know it's been a while since I've posted a fitness vlog, let alone a video in general, but I have been trying to upload another fitness vlog and I've attempted to film one like three times and I always just begin filming and I'm just like not vibing with it. But yeah, I feel really good today. I feel really good this morning and I just made myself some breakfast, but before I show you what I made, I actually wanted to update you on my progress and everything like that. We are on week five, day three of this fitness journey since I've started. I have lost five pounds total and I've kept that off. To break that down, I've lost five pounds and it took me about a month, which I definitely know I could have lost more. I know I could have, but for like the week of the holidays, like Christmas, New Year's, I wasn't going to the gym and I kind of allowed myself to eat more and enjoy more of that dinner environment with my family. But I didn't go over on calories too much or completely binge and, you know, run off track or anything. I stayed in a calorie deficit this entire time. Even if I didn't get to the gym, I've stayed in a calorie deficit. This month, my goal is to lose at least eight pounds, eight more pounds, eight to 10, hopefully. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting back into the gym. I didn't go to the gym yesterday or the day before, but I did work out at home. I did legs on Friday and I did shoulders and triceps yesterday. And I've been posting the workout tracker on my Instagram story. So that's, I'm being honest, I did work out at home. I didn't necessarily like it as much, but it is a cool alternative if, you know, you can't get to the gym for some reason. So another thing I want to add is the difference between my fitness journey this time around compared to all of the other attempts at trying to get healthy and lose weight every single time i've tried in the past it has always been like a spur of the moment type of thing like a like a flash of motivation and it has always been out of like i don't i don't want to say self-hatred because that's such a big word but um like out of dislike for myself plus i wasn't as knowledgeable as i am now especially since like my whole family is pretty active yeah i did it out of dislike and just out of self not loathe or hatred because I didn't really even hate myself but I think that this is different this time around because I'm genuinely like on this path to really taking care of myself and like loving myself and being content with how I am now but still working on myself to get better like that's such a cool thing for me and I just wanted to be real with you and that this isn't just like fitness journey just to make progress and lose weight like this is a self-love type of thing like this is definitely deeper than that so i just want to say that even if that sounds cheesy or weird um <laughs> i just think that's really really what it's about if i'm being honest it's because you love yourself enough to continue working on yourself so you're gonna see results long term but yeah enough enough rambling i made some waffles eggs and then I just cut up an avocado. I made the waffles myself. I used one banana, one egg, and then some peanut butter protein powder. This is what my plate looks like. So that's whipped cream, kind of melted. I should have waited for these to cool down before I did that. I just made two scrambled eggs. I used two eggs and then just half an avocado. So this is gonna be like my breakfast. I know it's like lunchtime, it's like 12. 30 or something like that. But another cool thing I want to show you is this carton bottle. And I got it for Christmas. I really, really love it. I just sneezed, sorry. But I got this for Christmas. It is a 34 ounce carton. So about two of these is a little over a gallon, um, which is good for hitting my water goal because I only need to drink two of these. To break it down, that's like 68 ounces of water and basically that equals to a little over eight glasses of eight ounces of water so you're you're getting a good amount of water but not too much to where it's like annoying i don't really like drinking that much water so this is like the perfect amount for me to 34 ounces half a gallon is the perfect amount for me yeah i'm gonna eat this I'm gonna come back and make lunch, which I'm really excited for because yesterday I went grocery shopping at Aldi and Walmart and I got a bunch of stuff for our fridge and pantry because our fridge has been empty for a little bit. I'm just 
happy that we have food and we have good healthy options so i'm excited so i'll be back and i will make lunch okay so this is what i have for lunch i have chicken garbanzo beans with spinach and green beans with mozzarella cheese and i melted it so it kind of looks icky but that's my lunch i have my water of course and i'll be eating this i didn't film myself cooking it i really should have but um it wasn't hard the green beans i just sauteed same thing with the garbanzo beans and spinach and the chicken was already packaged like that so it was easy just to throw it on the pan and saute it it wasn't anything fancy but this is my lunch for now and i'll be back with what i ate for dinner at the same time by why this sticky how many spatulas do we need here huh um i don't know you never clean up after yourself that was from you this morning i doubt it okay uh, now we're here starting the bottom over here Okay, whatever. I'm eating pickles as a snack. Cool. Okay, so there's Marie playing in the background, but I made this as a snack. It's a toasted bagel with frozen slices of banana, some almond granola, and whipped cream. And it looks really good. I'm gonna, I've never tried it, so I'm actually really excited to try it. But like I said, almond granola has protein the yogurt i use has protein so this is literally kind of like a protein bagel snack which i really like so i already took a bite oh do you want me to take a picture of it that is so good Maybe if I need to. There you go. <laughs> good, good. Perfect. Okay, I just got done working out, and for dinner I'm making chickpea pasta, and I'm using the recipe on the back. It's creamy tomato and spinach pasta, and I've already had the water boiling, and I've already added the pasta into the water, so I will be draining that in a second, and then making the sauce. So this is how it turned out. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it will be delicious, and then I will be moving on to making the salmon. All right, I just got done making my salmon, so this completes what my dinner will be. I used a specific method to cook my salmon. I'll just be eating these together. This is protein pasta, and this is obviously more protein. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm happy to see what I can do with more ingredients, because as you know, we didn't have a lot of food in our fridge recently, so I had to really make stuff out of nothing. But I'm so glad I got to grocery shop and get all this different kind of food. I have my salmon, which I'm excited to try. It fell apart in the pan, so I just kind of used that to cover it up. I'm gonna eat it with like a pepper. That is good. That is better than I thought it'd be. Okay, so I worked out chest today with my dad. 
I made the three meals. I had that snack. I've almost finished drinking my second 34 ounce of water and I feel really good. I don't feel bloated whatsoever, but I definitely ate filling foods. So I feel satisfied, but not bloated or too full or anything like that, which feels really cool. It feels really great. I love that I actually got to cook real meals with like real ingredients and it all tasted good and I'm just, I'm content. Like I, I had a really good successful day. So I'm excited to see more progress as we continue with this. Other than that, um, this basically really concludes this video. And if you watch the whole thing, thank you. I really appreciate you. I'm just happy to just edit this video and rest now. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thank you. I just, I don't know what else to say. Thank you.